Removing the grill, we're gonna remove these button heads right here using a flathead screwdriver. They pop right out. You'll be reusing these and then uh, grab a Phillips and these two screws at the top. few more buttons at the bottom that you'll have to grab. Alright, so to remove the bumper you have to remove these little caps right here. You just gotta pop it out from right here. Once you get that, that clip out, you just gotta pull out this way right here. Save these, you'll you'll reuse these with the bumper. So now we'll take a 10 millimeter socket. You can either use a, a ratchet wrench or one of these impacts. And then you're gonna remove six of these bolts. You got one back here and then you're gonna have four at the bottom. The buffer's gonna come right off. So now we're gonna install the lights. So we got a 30 inch body armor light bar that we're gonna put in the center. And then we got some Baja Design Amber squadrons that we're gonna throw in the fog pockets. All right, so now that we got the bumper off, we wanna remove the crossbar. The bumper won't fit with this on here, so we're gonna use a 14 millimeter. Remove these six uh, nuts right here. You will be reusing these too, so you don't want to get rid of them. Crash bar is off. Using a 17 millimeter, we're gonna remove these little ends from this cross bar here. And then using the hardware that comes with the bumper, it's got a new bolt that'll go through here and that will actually level the bumper out. So you use that to suck the bumper up. And then you get a, a nut through the inside, the bolt through the bottom. We'll do that next. So once the bumper's on there and it's hanging on with these 17 millimeter nuts, you'll get these bolts, nuts, and oversized washers out of the packet. Those will go in here and replace those little ends that we removed earlier. I'm gonna tighten these up. Before you tighten up the 17 millimeters, what these will do is, these will suck the bumper up and level it out. That way when you tighten up these 17 millimeter bolts, the bumper is already sitting leveled and it'll be flush. So you wanna get both of these in there and you wanna make sure you get that lock washer in there also. All right, so before you tighten up these 17 millimeter nuts here, you're gonna get these brackets that came with the bumper and <clears throat> you will insert them right there. You do have to remove these plastic caps that are right here. You will end up using a through bolt to act as a support using this other bracket that you're gonna put on the back and you're basically just sandwiching the frame of the vehicle using these bolts that come with the kit. You just go through, get one, get the second one there. Don't forget the washers. Now once you get both sides, then you can start tightening up the 17 millimeter bolts, get that bumper to get sucked in. All right, so now we're moving on to the driver's side brackets. Uh, keep in mind, 
that all these brackets are stamped with a D and a P for driver passenger. So make sure you get the correct ones from the right side or you're gonna be struggling with fitting it. Um, and then another thing is there is this plastic cap that covers the hole that is gonna be used for a through bolt. So you just take a flathead, drill it out, whatever you wanna do. And you wanna pop that one out on this side and on the inside. That way you can have a hole that goes all the way through. Now we're going to tighten up these three nuts on the front side of the bumper to get the bumper to suck in and hold these in place. And then once these are tight, then you'll take the 17 millimeters and tighten up the two through bolts back here on both the passenger and driver side. Now that we got the bumper hooked up, we got to get the grill on. and. The factory bumper had slots for all these right here to go in there and clip and that way you don't get no rattling and the grill to move around. So the kit comes with these tabs right here. And all you gotta do is get a Torx bit. You remove these right here on the ends. And you're just going to get those in there like that. And then there's a hole that is right there that will line up with that or you should get it to line up with that and then you get a little bolt to go through it and that'll secure your grill. 